right, my name is Ryan Thomason. This is my truck, my wife and I's truck. Uh, it's a 2019 uh, Global Expedition uh, Patagonia, or yeah, Patago or, yeah Patagonia model um, on a 22-foot uh, box with a uh, Kenworth uh, K370 chassis. Um, this is actually my wife here, so <laughs> we're getting videotaped. Um, some features of it, uh, got tons of storage. Um, get in here. So lots of outside storage, all of our systems are in here. So we, we started out uh, RVing, so my wife and I, or we actually started off uh, backpacking and then tent camping and uh, car camping, got our first RV, um, and then worked our way up through the RVs, worked our way all the way up to a 42-foot diesel pusher, uh, which is about as big as they get, um, and then decided that, you know, we can't go the places we want to go anymore. And so uh, we were always kind of setting up as a base camp with the RV, and then we take our four-wheel drive and go play around. and. Uh, this allows us to just take this to where we want to go. Um, so we have tons of storage, everything's all labeled, and uh, the fun you have when you're, you're building one of these and you don't have anything, you have got nine months of, uh, of uh, prep work. So we were able to get everything labeled. Uh, we have an outside fridge for extra stuff. One of the things we were worried about moving, downsizing from a big RV was, was food storage, because the fridge is a lot smaller. So we have got a, a Dometic uh, outside fridge freezer combo here and everything. And then when it's nice out, we've got the option to, uh, to cook outside. So we've got our own, uh, it's an all electric uh, outside kitchen. Uh, we didn't want propane, um, so we didn't do a gas grill, um, and we don't have to store a gas grill and everything. So we have, uh, it's a little dirty, but a outside kitchen uh, with a cooktop and a grill, and then some extra storage for you know utensils and cook here and everything. Um, but it's all electric. Um, And then around on the back, we've got a lot more storage lockers on the back. We've got two, uh, so all of our recovery gear is in this one. Uh, makes it nice and easy to get to. Um, we've got some other camp, camp gear up there, chairs and things like that. And then we've got a really tall locker on this side for wintertime sports. So you've got a, a nice tall locker you can actually fit skis into and everything. Um, and then in the summertime, we've got two stand-up paddle boards, inflatable that'll, uh, that'll fit in here with paddles and life jackets and everything. And then the spare tire in our bike rack, and we can uh, this all this whole thing lowers, drops down the drops down to the ground, and uh, so you, get, you can get the bikes off easy. Plus, you can uh, get that 350 pound spare tire on the ground and not have to pick it up. So, anything else on the outside? Um, so we have an awning. Um, it's not you know it's all electric. You push a button, it comes out, and uh, gives you nice shade. Uh, it would actually retract itself when it's windy like this, so you couldn't even leave it out. It'll, it'll, it'll sense the wind and pull itself in to protect itself. Um, cassette toilet. Um, you know, coming from the RV world where you've got a black tank and a gray tank, um, you know, we were a little apprehensive of going to this small little cassette that's like the size of a carry-on luggage. You know, carry-on luggage. Um, but we have found this is like the, the coolest contraption to deal with your. Uh, your bathroom, um, but you know the whole thing comes out, yep. and you can dump it in. You know any toilet, any uh, an outhouse if you're out in the middle of the woods, <laughs> things like that makes it really easy. Um, two fuel tanks, uh, each one's 100 gallons, so we've got 200 gallons of fuel on board. Um, I believe it's 120 gallons of water. Um, that's all inside that storage compartment when you pull that drawer out you can actually get into all of our systems are kind of on a wall in there all neatly laid out too so you can really get to all the wiring and everything um, around on the front we've got our truck batteries are here so you've got you know easy access to all of that everything's really easy to get to and everything um, 
The beauty of the cab over truck, this cab actually tilts and the engine's right there. So you can just sit on the tire and actually work on the engine. So it's really easy to get to. Um, the, on the front, we've got a winch. We have also have a winch on the back. Um, so we've got two winches on the truck. Um, camera systems. We've got uh, for driving and we find ourselves driving at night a lot. Um, so we actually have a forward-looking infrared uh, system that's got uh, pedestrian and animal te detection. So uh, this, this camera here will actually, uh, it, it's a black and white view, but if it senses uh, people or, uh, or animals, it'll actually give you an alert. And so we've learned that, you know, you hear the alert, your foot comes off the accelerator, foot covers the brake, and usually stop braking because it's seen something that you can't see. And it'll usually see four to five times what your headlights can see. So it's looking way out down the road. It's really nice. Um, around on this side, the, the rear compartments on this side, we've got uh, our storage, um, another storage tank here, another fuel tank, a 6,000 uh, kW generator. Um, it's a little overkill for the truck right now. You know, we're, we've got our air conditioning is, is running we're not running the generator because our solar's got enough uh, power to uh, to keep up with it. Anything else on the outside? No, I think that's all good. Eh? Okay. I we can go in the inside. All right. Now. Take a look at that. Wow. And our security system. State-of-the-art State of the art security system. His name is Granite. He's uh, he's quite the travel dog. My mother-in-law says he's been to more states than most people already, and he's only 10 months old. So, <laughs> all right. So, got our our, uh, our cab up front, cockpit. Um, Kind of set it up with you know it, it's set up with everything we've got we've got an ipad for navigation we do also use a garmin um that's up uh on, high on the windshield there a um, couple of radios we've got a cb radio uh we learned on one of our first trips real quick that uh if you're going to do forest service roads or logging roads that you you need to actually have a regular cb radio on board um because the logging trucks will announce what they're doing, and if they don't hear anybody respond, they assume no one's on the road. So uh, we've got a CB for that, and then we've got a, a GMRS uh, radio as well for uh, two-way radio communication when we're traveling with other people. Our FLIR display shows up on the big display that's up there. Um, <laughs> any other things on the cockpit up there? Uh, so this actually will make into a bed. Uh, we've got there's there's tables that are actually behind here that will fill the gap, and then the back ra the the back cushions drop down um, and fill the gap. So you can turn this into a bed. Um, as you can see, our, we use it for the dog typically most of the time. What kind of dog is that? He's a, a Caucasian Mountain Dog. Oh my gosh! Great and he's only a pup. Oh, it's 10 months old. Hi, buddy. Um, TV, everybody, every overlanding vehicle needs a TV, I guess, mm -hmm. you know, for those rainy days or whatever. Um, we've got skylights, which we can pop up and vent ventilate and everything, which work really nice. Um, super good insulation on them. So uh, in the wintertime when it's, you know, five below out, you walk underneath, you don't feel a cold draft. Um, our fridge, so it's a drawer fridge, which is really nice for those times that you forget to lock it. Um, and you go around the corner and it opens up, nothing spills out, it just pulls out and uh, you gotta come back here and put it up. Induction cooktop, so really efficient, uh, quick boiling for that. Lots of uh, cabinet storage space. Um, and then as we work our way back here, Storage up here, we got a convection microwave, so uh, you can actually use it as a convection oven. So you can bake stuff, uh, but you also have a microwave. Um, dirty clothes hamper slash washer dryer combo. So uh, makes for really nice, uh, throw your dirties in there. They're always clean. We can run it while we're running down the road. 
Um, so when you get to your destination, you fold your clothes here, everything's ready to go again. Um, something different that we did, most of the trucks are built with a wet, uh, a wet head, so the shower and the, the, the toilet and everything are one. We didn't like that idea, so we, part of why we went with the 22-foot box was to get that. Um, so we actually have a dry, a dry bath. So you've got your toilet and a sink, and again, plenty of storage. And then a, an actual regular shower here that we also use for storage. So just to kind of have a quick way to pass some you know, bulky items that, uh, and then a skylight in there as well. And then a queen size bed up top, um, kind of an innovative little thing they came up with for us. Uh, you know, my wife's not super tall. So for getting her into the bed, we actually have a pull out locking step so you can actually get into bed and when you know middle of the night when you got to get up and go to the bathroom you don't fall out of the bed uh, makes it really nice yeah. <laughs> air conditioning um this is cool you can um all right so yeah just just close stores plenty of it so here so hang, hanging on one side and then we've got uh, shelving on this side. All of our electrical systems are all back here. So our AC breaker panels are behind the backpack on that panel there, but all of our DC controls here. Our master vault systems, so it'll tell us everything here, how much water we've got, um, shows our battery. So even though we've been running the air today, our batteries are still sitting at 97%. We're charging at 47 amps off the, uh, the solar. So with even with the air conditioning <laughs> cycling, we're we're pretty much staying topped off. We were at about seventy percent this morning on the batteries, and we're already back up to almost topped off. And so, the batteries will charge off the solar. The batteries charge off the engine when it's running, um, or the, of course the generator. So, my wife's into coffee, so she had to have her favorite. So that's the same coffee maker we have at home. I was able to put it in here and. She can use it in, you know, pantry storage. So we've got plenty of, plenty of food, food storage. 